Hey guys, my name is Sediac and welcome back to another episode of Software Inc. Where guys, 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 guys. Last episode was a big one. We actually created our very own operating system and it turned out to be the most profitable software we've ever created. Um, <laughs> it made 761 million in income. Oh, I say profit, not income. It made a lot more in income, but in profit. Is that not ridiculous or is that not ridiculous right now? It is. And now because I've got so much cash in the bank, I think we should put it to some good use. Some of you guys have been saying, Cineac, with all that money in the bank right now, you should maybe take care of your employees. And I agree. I think we should start taking care of them. We also need to do some expansions to our offices. We need to create more night teams. But something that is costing me an absolute fortune and our biggest bill other than staff wages is our distribution costs. The fact that we have to give a physical store cut. Every time you have to print our own products, it costs us lots of money. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at building our own printing warehouse. Now, I can't remember how I exactly I've got to build it. So this is going to be fun, guys. It's been a while since I last built a printing distribution warehouse thingy my jiggy my bobby my booty. So we're going to see what we can do with that. And ultimately, we now have 7.9% of the market share when it comes to our digital distribution. We were only obviously charging a 1% cut, but I'm just trying to build up the reputation right now uh, for more people to jump onto our own uh, digital distribution platform. So I think we got lots of works to be done. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are enjoying the series, boys, make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new right here so you get notified when more episodes do come out. Now, it looks like everyone's going home. Everyone is scheduling out of here right now. A visitor's trying to strike a deal, but we told them to go home. You Hold on. Is that a room? Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm sure I built a room. Did I build a room or did I not build a room? Mm, something doesn't seem right. Something doesn't seem right here, boys. Uh, windows. No, let me scrap those windows. Let me go big windows. There we go to there. And we got the wall either side. Right, there we go. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue. So we need to pick an ideal location for our printing warehouse. It's going to need a f quite a few things. It's going to need the ability for people to park there. And when I say people park there, I mean the couriers who come and pick up the stuff that we have. Whoa. Six companies requested access to join your digital distribution? No way. Oh my god. Yes, please. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right now. We build up the reputation for the host inside of things, and all of a sudden, the deals just keep rolling in. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Right, I'm going to wait for it's daytime so I can see a little bit better. So, yeah, we need a big enough warehouse. We got loads of room for building all the conveyor systems and all the print and stuff and all that kind of sweet, sweet jazz. And then we also need to make sure that we have enough parking for the couriers to pull up in uh, so they can pick up all the goods. And there's a fair few things we have to make sure that we've pretty much got. Now, while all this is happening, we're not developing any new software at all. We're making quite a bit of cash uh, as we take along right now, which is pretty good. Um, let me just check out the support side of it. Is there any bugs that maybe need fixing? Uh, you could argue yes. Oh, wow. The fool's mail needs a bug fix. You could argue yes, so what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll we'll set up a bunch of bug fixes and we'll get all our teams working on it. And let's uh, just pick some stuff here and we'll just get all these updates done in the background and that should be pretty handy for us. So programming, let's just pick you, la -di da update you. Uh, we'll update the Bank of Fools free, which is still doing pretty well. So I might as well kind of dive into the world of updating this. And then we're all good boys. We're pretty much, I wish it would just like select the best. Like what it thinks will be the best one. Um, select you, bam, bam, bam. And Fools Network, all good, update. So then we're gonna do the Fools OS. 
So if I do it all, all of them, they'll just get done together in the background. And I can rest easy. Okay, that's an easy one to update. And then folio stores, update you, update. So let's just get rid of the support now. So I'm only looking at uh, what we're currently marketing and what we're currently updating. They're going to complain about there's too much work, said Yak, but that's okay. So we need then to look at all the dirt they've created. Oh my goodness me. We need, is that car park full? No. To pick a plot of land. Now we can buy these two here, which is really, really handy. And I think that's what we're most likely going to do. I think we'll buy this one here. So buy you. Yeah, baby. And then we're going to first place down some car parks. Because then I know how much space I've got remaining. Oh, they're the wrong way around. All right, scrap that. Is it this one? If I just place the same ones down again. I think I may just place the same ones down again. So I know that this is the space I've got to work with. So go to construct and we'll do rectangle rooms and I'll come two away from the edge. I'm trying to spin right round. So what I can do is have um, a kind of path walkway that goes around the side to stop them literally walking on everything. Right. And making mess on the dirt. I can turn it into like what we've got over here. It feels more like of a uh, an actual building building. Right, all the way down. Oh no, that didn't go to plan, did it? Okay, this is going to be annoying right now. How do I do this? Right, this is not really working out as well as I thought it would. But how in the world am I going to do this one? Okay, it's easier than I thought. <laughs> it's easier than I thought. So, I now have a building with a walk, with a, with a a sidewalk, as they as they call it in the United States of America. Um, right. That's all good. Let's now get what we need for it. So, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need, when it comes to doors... Actually, where do I see it for... Is it all within the furnishing of a distribution? We need... I'm sure we need like a, like a, a, a garage... Oh, one of these is what we need, yes. So, I'm going to get one of these down. Which side do I make it go on? Is the question. Now, if I put you, for example, here... I could build a second one there, which allows me to have then two pickup points in the whole of this. Now, all I want to do is have pretty much the ability to just print items. I'm not creating any hardware yet. We can build a separate hardware area at some point in the future. Because I haven't gone down the hardware, uh, hardware route just yet. It's purely just printing the products that I create. Now... We've got to figure out the best way to kind of set this all up. Now, by the looks of it, we could actually have three... Oh, we can't put you there because of the, the lamppost, right? Or can I put you there? Okay, I can. Because there's ability to split the conveyors into three directions. So if I had this here, the box is going one. And then they get split to go wherever they need to go. So if I put you there. And let me just get the conveyors to run to where I need them to go. How, how do you now do a turn? Oh, is it just like that? So that splits to the free. Right. I'm hoping that's right. I'm hoping that's right. But then where do you put... Well, how does this work? Oh, no. It, it builds its own pallets, doesn't it? And then whatever can't be placed on these pallets, then get placed on pallets around, if that makes sense. So if I did one there, two, three, I would also need a couple of doors entering in. See, this is me trying to remember how you're meant to build. 
So if I do a door entry point here and do a door entry point there, because then it makes it easy access for the couriers to kind of come in. So this is all the stuff I gotta remember, guys, and I honestly I don't remember anything. But you do need a lot of storage. Now I'm gonna do a long line like this because it makes it easy access for the couriers when they come in to grab the guts. So I think that's what I probably need. I probably need a lot more than that, but you know, that will do for now. So bring this all the way down. Should all split nicely. Right, I now need printers. So printers then, there's a couple of variations we've got. We've got, that's a component printer. We've got the large pr product printer. We've got the medium product printer and the small one. We're obviously gonna go for the large and it is a two wide gap space. So. If I bring, for example, this to here, and then directly down to there, and then maybe we can utilize this to give us the ability to print multiple products. So it'll make sense what I'm doing. The idea would then be dropping you there you there, you there, you there. Now, this is very expensive. Spin it right round. Of course, that last one I had to mess up. Now, it might completely overload my whole area, but that will print a gazillion products all at once. Now, I'm sure, actually, I'm not sure, but I'm sure in manufacturing, yes, there we go. I can print 1 million copies a month. <laughs> That's a lot of products, isn't it? That is a lot of products. Now, I've got to get this all set up right now with the temperatures and all that kind of jazz because we will fail drastically the inspections. Now, we'll go for some industrial ventilation because that is going to be highly needed. But I don't know what that does in terms of keeping the place cool. I'll need fire sprinklers. I'll drop a couple down. We will need a fire alarm. There we go. And... Do I just need to keep... I, I, I'm sure I just need to keep this place cool. Oh, lights. We do need the ability to be able to see. That would be great, guys. So we'll go for these industrial fluorescent lamps. Well, I'm not sure where I've placed the other ones, but I'm placing these ones like this. And then we'll see what happens. So... In the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty weak building. We could add some windows to it to make it a little bit nicer. But do I want people to drive past and see my secrets? Maybe. Nice big windows there, maybe. I'll do some big windows there. I could do a couple of windows at the back. So if I did... A... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Right, I'm going to do it just here instead. And I'll do a window there. Window there. Right. That is the building for now. It will be glorious. But it has no relevance for me at the moment until I actually make something or print something. Now, I won't hire the couriers yet until we actually need couriers. But now all of a sudden, I've got two extra doors for the crims to steal from me. So I now need to hire. And if I filter this by security guards. So security. I now need an extra two working at all times. So hire two security for the eights. So, and then, hang on, for the zero. Two. And then for the 16, two. So now I've got a security guard for each door. 
And look at that, boys. They're already using these car parking spots. Do I need more car parking? The answer is yes. Oh, apparently as well, I didn't realize I could build car parking over the bike racks, right? I can, but I don't... Ooh, what happened there? I don't want those ones. There we go. There we go. And maybe we should add some car parking here. So if I did this and then... Uh, this is just the annoying bit of it all. It's They like to walk... All over my beautiful grass. And it is really annoying. So I can't build that because it goes for a building. Wait, does it go for a building? <laughs> that went really weird, didn't it? What's going on with that then? Is there something wrong here? Well, I will never know. And I will not question it. I will not question it. What is going on? Oh, no. I wish it was really easy to build a like, path and stuff. But it's not. It's not that easy. Anyway, that makes no difference because they'll still walk on the grass. But I got some car parking spots a little bit closer that they can utilize rather than parking in all of these. Right, anyway, we'll get these updates done. Actually, no, I don't need to get them done because what I can do is I can start developing some new software that we could eventually release. Now, doing a operating system will be a big job. So I don't think I'm going to go down that road again just yet. I will do 100%. It's a game changer in money. But why don't we create a something that will be good to put make us lots of money, something like a game engine. Now, I could either go down that road now or... I could do something smaller so I can print copies and see my actual printing factory working. So I reckon what we should then create is something really, really simple, basic and easy and just kind of a bit silly. A 3D editor. Did I ever create a 3D editor? I, I didn't, did I? No. Now, a 3D editor, if I was to add everything onto it, because obvious, oh, bit mining. I don't want to get caught doing bit mining. Apparently, it's going to take three years to create. Now, if I took some stuff off it, um, particles, some mesh stuff, liquid simulation. Skinning. Ooh. That'll take two years to create. And I could charge one, two, five. Okay. It's a 3D editor. So, it, I mean, it's not really a graphics card, but um, 3D Folio. That's a, such a great name, Soniac. Where do you get these names from? Where do you get these names from? Uh, design team is all good. Development team. We've got to throw some art team on there as well. Develop. Uh, you haven't look, looked at the... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Next. Um, it needs an IDE, which I can't do this in IDE because it's outdated. I could have dated, but I'm not going to go down that road. We'll go for you. Um, programming. Can't do Folio Plus or whatever it was I created. Does it even even on this list? 
I don't think it is. So we'll go with you. Uh, operating systems, definitely on the Fools OS. And active users, we'll go for... We'll go for the top four. Right. Brings our consumer reach to 3.4 million. And analyze. Apply. Next. And develop. Oh, publisher. Printing. No, I'm going to do it all myself. Right. Develop. Let's do it. So that will get done in the background then. That will get done in the background. So, oh, Donovan Mullins has been in an accident and resigned. Well, that's not good, is it? Now, I was going to um, give them some employee benefits. Because I'm a nice boss. Oh, let me bring this down. Except all in close. And I think I'm going to do that now. So what just happened here, by the way? Six companies have created this access. Oh, even more companies on my digital distribution platform. Hold on, we got a deal right now, which is for hosting. Which I will accept. Are my servers okay at the minute? Load 9%. Yes, they're, they're fine. They're okay. So we've got a 10% market share. They're all now using it. Right, but it's not to say that they're all using it. But you should see our... Uh, now, where did it come from again? Is it distribution? Digital store cut? I'm only getting 24%. But once they're all sucked into my platform, I'll then start raising the prices. <laughs> right, I think we should do some employee benefits, right? We should take a look at doing some employee benefits. So that gets done, if I can remember correctly. Where does it get done? Employee benefits. So I will pay them a pension. And I will place in the pension $50 a month for the pension, guys. I will do some life insurance and we'll give them five... No. I'll pay 50 grand on death. Right? <laughs> Health insurance... I'll pay up to 30 grand. Uh, no minimum raise. Severance pay, no. I choose when to kick them out. I'll give them a paid vacation. I'll also give them free food. I'll give them a Christmas bonus of 25%. No company cars. No night shifts. Right, apply that. That is better than what it was. They were getting nothing before. So that is now a benefit. That is now a huge benefit. So we've got a lot of work still get to, to get done. The iteration for 3D Folio is also getting done. And things have changed around here, boys. All I can say is right now, things have changed. We're now a proper functioning company. There is benefits. People are complaining about too many tasks. I understand because I'll be trying to do four updates at once. And I've got a lot of employees that I do need to educate as well. So we'll have to take a look at that shortly. Now let's see what we can get done. Can the night team get rid of the last few bugs? Um, is this now? Oh, we got taxes due. More people are joining my network. Right, once we start getting rid of... Or start taking some of these um, jobs off. They'll get less and less stressed. Right, well, there's only one more bug here for Folio stores. Right, there we go. That's done. That's one less job than I've got to worry about. Now, as the Fool's Mail, if, if, you know, eventually made a profit. Oh, we passed the fire inspection. So let me do it by release date. So Fool's Mail. <laughs> no. It has not yet made a profit. That is ridiculous how it's not made a profit yet. That's crazy. More companies are requesting my access to my digital distribution platform. We've got, as you can see, 25 signed, but they've got 57 signed. So we're still a long way off. 
we are still a long way off. Right, what's going to get done next? It might be this, the Banker Falls Free. Trying to put some dents into it. Security guards are watching those doors, baby. They're watching those doors. I don't like how they're parking there, but I suppose we need more parking, don't we? I understand why they're parking there, because it's the closest option. But maybe I need to build like a multi-story over on this side as well. All right, five more companies signed on. Well, I, that's not five new companies. That was three more companies. All right, we're getting close to getting this stuff done. And then they can stop complaining about being too stressed. All right, we first got to focus on getting 100% on the update. There is some artwork involved as well. We need to get the, the night art team up and running as well. All right, I'm trying to blitz through these updates real quick. All right, they're working away. Six new companies. We, we've paid our taxes. How much is our tax bill? Eight million. Oh, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Not as much as it would do, though. We did save a lot. We're now up to 36. Interesting. Interesting. Now, I wonder if I can start, like, signing exclusivity deals. That would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? That would be pretty sweet. Now... We're just bug fixing at this point. These iterations will get done shortly as well. Do you know what? This company keeps wanting this dude. Do you know what? You can have him. You can have him, okay? I don't want him no more. He is getting he's had millions of dollars out of me from trying to make him stay at my own company. I don't want him no more. I don't want him no more, okay? You can have him. You can deal with that Karen. <laughs> but I'm going to pause these two real quick. In the hopes that we can get the bugs here done for the Bank of Fools free. Right. They're all still stressed, but I've paused some other jobs in the hope that we can get some other jobs done. That is the, the hope anyway. That is the hope. Now, we've got some deals on the go. A couple of hosting deals on the go here. We're going to accept those. More companies assigned to our distribution. We, we, we're catching them up. We are catching them up. Right. So, the bug fixes. Only two more bugs remaining right now. We should get these done pretty rapidly. Finish you. All right. You're next because you're the next quickest one to get done. So that was the Bank of Fools update just been dropped. And then they're going to try and blitz through that as much as they can. I can't believe the uh, the, the Fools mail had over 800 bugs that we got to get out as well. That's kind of ridiculous. Right, so while that happens then, we're going to take a look at our teams. That's the wrong button. <laughs> Take a look at our teams right now. The support team, I think, needs another employee. I think that's where the person left from. No, the, oh, is it the design team they left from? Yes, I think it was. So, the night, night design and the night core could do with a few extra people. We'll go for the night core team first. So, if I go to hire employees, we'll go programming high. Looking at the night or the core night team, we need some. Let me do comp compatibility first. So, 3D and 2... Oh, system and 2D? Yes, you're the perfect employee. We need to kind of cover our backs on that. Uh, 2D and hardware. Oh, I'm looking at design. I'm an idiot. I'm looking at design. Right. Hire you. 
Uh, 2D and audio. Hi, are you? I suppose it doesn't really matter. In reality, does it? I just need to... I mean, I can have up to 24. But I'm going to hire eight, uh, 18. Drops the cohesion dramatically because they've all got to work together for a little bit longer. So we'll focus on the core team first. Because the design team's not really doing much. I mean, we've not got many bugs remaining right now. More companies your digital distribution platform. What are we on to now? 47. Oh, that one platform actually lost a couple of people signed to them. So this could be where I start to slowly take over. It's quite exciting, isn't it? All right, finish you, and now you're next. So we're going to try and blitz through the Fool's Mail update. And then we can start developing the 3D Folio. And then while they're developing the 3D Folio, we'll get something else on the go for designing. And then we'll look towards getting the art team set up as well. So I'm hoping like everyone's a lot more happier now and they have benefits working at the company. Oh, a product has run out of sales. The Fool's OS. Oh, should we actually print some? So I please enter the limit how many copies you like to have in stock before pausing the job. So if I say I want to have 100,000 in stock at all times. So if I do that, so we'll always we'll always have 100,000 in stock at any given time. Now if I press play, we should then start seeing them printing it. I'm not sure when you have to wait for it. There you go. It's now printing them. So I, I think it prints it on the hour. Which that should then split it into all these directions. And they all then get stocked here. But I don't have any couriers. Now what I could do is go to manage staff. And I could then at 0, 100 hours. That's 100 Seniac. Um, hire two couriers. Or hire one. We'll hire two. And they only work for four hours. All right, let me let me change. I'm going to have one at a time. So then 08. 12. 16. So this way, I always have a carrier and a courier, sorry, a carrier on standby at any given time of the day because you never know when I'm going to be printing. So if I now just wait for a courier to arrive, I'm not sure when they're going to arrive. There we go, boys. The van's pulled up. Our company logo, EA, because we scam. And he's now picking up the boxes and he will put them into his van. And he will then get those goods sent off. And that has saved us so much money. So much money that has now saved us. Well, he's did pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Right. Can we get this now done the fool's mail? Yep. Yeah. We can then develop this. And that might get done pretty quick. So I might as well start the press release now. And it's just as easy as that, boys. It's just as simple and easy as that. Right, a lot of stuff's happening right now that I can't keep up with. We have got 49 peeps signed to us. My servers is now at an 18% load. I can always add more onto it. That's completely fine. We have just made a huge amount in... We've sold a large amount. Why do we sell so much? Is it the software we just sold? I think it 
is. Yeah, because we had more in stock that we could sell. Makes sense. And Oh, and the updates just got done as well, so that makes a lot more sense too. Now, distribution. We've got 81,000 coming from our digital store. I'm only doing 1%. If I, if I do 10%, that number times is by 10. Then I'll be getting nearly a million a month coming in just from my digital distribution network. You see where how lucrative this is going to be? I'm just trying to swing everybody onto us first. Now, I think we should really take a look at doing some education. So if I sort it by... Actually, let me do accounts first. There is a lot of accountants right now that need to be educated. Oh, hang on. I'm on the wrong section. There is not a lot of edu uh, accounts, peeps. So I educate you. If you can't do accounting, we'll do law. Right. We'll do the core team next. So manage teams. I just want to see what I need to do for the core team. Oh, okay. So you're not. Okay, you can do support. I don't know why, but you can do it. Now, if I bring this slightly up. Um, if they ain't got much going on, I'll do audio for you. There's a lot for network, but I might as well max out the network. Your 2D will go... Hmm. We'll do some audio. System. Okay, might as well do network to get the level 3 in. 3D. Audio. System. System. Okay, that's all of those guys for the core team. Well, a lot of employees are now going to go missing as they go on education. So system, if I can get art for... Oh, there's some programming coming in. That's the only problem when you start assigning the art team. Because they start getting programming skill, which is fine. It's fine. Oh, what happened there? All right, more art teams need to be educated. There we go. Right, core night team. Educate. Uh, the core night team we could do with more network than anything, but that person already maxed out in network. Right, I've gone all out network there, boys. Oh, wait, there is more in art. Maybe I didn't select everybody. All right, I'm just going to do all system. Okay, it's not really art skill that I'm giving them right now, is it? All right, design team, educate you. So, system's a big one. System and network. And audio, believe it or not. Right, support we'll do next real quickly. Right, I don't know why he's gained so much design skill. Marketing. And then we've got our design night team. Which is a few variations. We'll go network, we'll go system, system, and we'll go audio for you, network. Ooh, some dis art. Well, that's everyone educated, but just as much as I educate everyone right there, a lot more would want to be educated very shortly anyway. Right. More companies requesting access. We're now into the 50s, 51. We're taking them away from webware. That's what we're doing mainly, is taking away from webware. I will up the prices once I've sucked everybody over and I've got the biggest market share. I'm scamming, baby. I'm scamming. So the Falls OS will just consistently keep printing right now. I don't need to worry about it. We do not need to worry about it one bit. We could do with a night design uh, art team. Sorry. Let me accept you. Uh, see, somebody else now wants to be educated. So if I create a new team and call them art... Night, add the team, and they work from 1900 to 
five in the morning. And they will go in this room. Simple and easy. Now, we hire a few employees. Artists, hi. And if I set them up for the art team, in terms of compatibility, so art night, hire you. And then, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we assign on uh, 3D Folio, the night art team as well. So they'll get some artwork done on the night shift. Now, is Fools... Oh, I've just realized something. I'm an absolute idiot. Isn't Fools Mail subscription-based? It actually is, isn't it? Three dollars. Oh, I'm an idiot. I've just realized I'm charging a subscription. So if I charge five dollars, no one is taking so long to make money. It's made a hundred thousand. Let me see what happens when I change the price. Right, accept those deals. Accept all and close. There we go. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's tripled in revenue. It legit tripled in revenue. Wow. Let me see what other... I mean, I don't know what the, 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 the level is. What if I change the price now? $7? dollars you will be so mad if you're paying a, you know, a $3 subscription and all of a sudden there becomes $7. you will be so mad, wouldn't you? You really would. Right, what we're going to do next then is also work on the sequel to the Fool's OS. So if I make a sequel to this, the Fool's OS 2. Now, what are we currently charging for the current Fool's OS? $200. So we'll do the same again. No, I'm going to charge $210. We'll charge $210. Design team, get the night art team on that as well. And we'll add a windowing system, multitasking, widgets, a few extra things. Why not? Why not? Um, good, 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 good. Next, next. Analyze. Apply. Next. Develop. Because that's going to take a long time. So we'll get that done in the background nice and slowly. Uh, press release is ready to, to go, basically. But we got to get rid of a bunch of bugs. More deals coming in. We're going to accept. We're doing absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic we are doing right now. And we have to start marketing the 3D folio. So I'm only really creating the 3D folio because I wanted to test out the printing. But seeing as the Fools OS ran out and we've already tested it, that worked out pretty well. Fool's Mail, 400,000 big ones right now. So that's literally not far off. The next month, it should make a profit. It should make a profit. So if I promote the 3D Folio right now into Bug Bash, we'll also do a press build. Actually, no, it will announce a release date. We'll give ourselves a year. So January 20, uh, 48. So we'll, we'll do that and then we'll kind of... Did a press build the month after once we got rid of a few bugs. Iterations being eaten through right now. Which is good to see. Chefs are trying their hardest right now to cook up a storm. <laughs> but they're not keeping up with it. Fans aren't liking that we haven't released a uh, payment gateway in a while. Imagine requesting, imagine having fans for a payment gateway. We love your payment gateway so much. Make another one. Crazy, right? Right. Some products got printed right there, as you can see. Because we're always keeping the Fools OS at 100,000 units in stock. And I still can't believe the Bank of Fools is still doing pretty good as well. And Fools Mail, now that we've uh, upped the subscription prices. 
Right, our servers, 15% load. Our network, 52 are now signed. I think we might be slightly plateauing right now at this point. Uh, distribution, 69,000. Yeah, it, it, I mean, the, the profit also depends on how well the company's doing with their products. That's the other side of it as well. Right, I, there's no art needed in this, but I'm going to keep my art team on it because I'll get design skill. Right, two new companies are just signed up. We're now at 54. I do actually have the biggest market percentage. Burglars tried to rob us, but they went home empty-handed. Now, I, I mean, let's see how much I'm making. 70 big ones. So if I then up it to 2%, let's see what happens. Right, we're going to market a press build. See what the press says about the 3D folio. And I wonder if anybody leaves us. So nobody left us on our distribution net, um, network. They're aiming to release it. It has amazing all the new features, usual stuff. And it is starting to build up a little bit of a following. So, I don't know. I think maybe we lost one or two, maybe. But in terms of revenue right now on the distribution, it's now doubled to 140,000. That's huge. And we've also just paid our taxes as well. And we still was in profit. Normally, when I pay my taxes, we lose money on the month. So, do I now release this? Or are we still bug fixing? We'll keep going. We're doing pretty all right at the minute. I can't believe how much we've et through the iteration of this Bulls OS 2. Our little night team has done really well in eating through that as much as they can. Sometimes I think the smaller teams are better. One more iteration now remaining. And I think we'll release this press release today. Build up a little bit of a following. I'll do a second press release. I'm trying to bide myself a little bit of time. Uh, looks great. All oh, that jazz. Got some deals on the go here we're going to accept. And do we now start taking some light, slightly larger percentages? Another company on us. Now we're rivaling the others. I think it's now a case of just taking what I can. So it's, yeah, you, you take it too far. Cancellations are likely. You got to slowly increase it. You gotta slowly increase the price. But where are they gonna get it anyway cheaper from? There's nowhere else cheaper they're gonna get it from. So, yeah. Deal with it, okay? Deal with it. Over a thousand bugs removed. This should be completely bug free. It really should be completely bug free. Right, how are we doing on this iteration right now? The final iteration for the Fools OS 2. Right, did the money increase in our distribution? Yeah, nearly 200,000. Can I up it one more? Yeah, you do You do a 2% increase, then they will start to complain. But I'll do a percentage every month. I will do a percentage every month. Don't think I won't, boys. I will slowly raise those prices. <laughs> I will slowly raise those prices. Right, I don't think there's going to be much more bugs kind of dropping. So on the next month, we're going to release this press release and release the 3D folio and make some money. Now, I'm assuming the Fool's Mail finally made money. It did. After all that time, it finally did it. A lot of our employees have gone on vacation right now, which is not a good idea when I want to release software. So, that's an interesting one. Because my marketers will not get this all done in time. 
so I might need to release it on the next month. Okay, fine, we'll do it on the next month. It allows us to build up a few more bugs in the bank. Get the press release a little bit closer. But ultimately, that's really it. So this should be perfect timing for this design work to end and us to promote it into programming. So the design team's in there working away very slowly. And then this month, everybody should come in. Right, so... We'll release this. I'll release the 3D folio. Now, you don't mind this one because they don't know who we are. Okay, so you don't mind that one. Quality is the greatest. Loads of bugs completely out. Uh, we'll do a 50 grand marketing budget. We will not order copies. I will always print and have 50,000 always in stock. So that deal is now pretty much set up. We should see the printing area over here. Start printing on the hour. Or not. Yep, there we go. Box is now being printed. Our courier will then take them away. And that there should be pretty much all of them that we need. And maybe a little bit of a Fool's OS printed in there at the same time. So that's done. That truly is done, and this iteration is almost ready to go. So we drop the press release, build up a few fans, ready to rock and roll, and start developing this Fool's OS, baby. Right, the night team should actually finish the Fool's OS iteration. Or I should say the Fool's OS 2. Oh, I didn't increase my distribution, did I? By... Okay, I can take it to 6%. I am going to lose people at some point. Right, this can now be developed. Noise distribution. We're creeping up to 8%. Have you noticed they've had to cut theirs? They were quite high before. So, distribution. Nearly, or oh, over 100, I bet say nearly half a million, but it's not that. Uh, 400,000. Oh, I just realized something. Why have I not got 3D foot? Hold on. All of my software. Exclusivity deal. Done. I gave away some sales at the beginning, didn't I? I gave away some sales. But that's okay. We're back on top of it. Right, the art for the Fools OS 2 is going to get done rapidly. And how, oh, we made... Oh, okay. So we made nearly 1.9 million. I've only just realized how much we made. So we should make... We should turn a profit on this next month. I wasn't expecting to make much money. It's purely just to see our printing area up and working. And it works really well. So we're no longer paying for anyone to print copies for us. We do it ourselves, boy. Look at that. Gets picked up straight away. Probably don't need as many couriers as I do, but it's nice to always have one available for when the printing needs to be done. So another month. Wow. Marketing the 3D Folio. That's just jumped up in dramatic sales. Holy moly. That just sold almost twice as many. Is it because it's an exclusivity deal on our marketing distribution platform? Thingy me chicken bummy booty. Maybe. It's now 10%. I'm now going to be taken. Wow. So look at that. We sold more compared to the previous month. Right. In sales, sorry. But less distribution costs because we've now signed an exclusivity deal. Still taking a physical store cut. You can't really do much about that. It's a physical store. you got to sell it in a physical store. It's a shame you can't open up your own physical stores or only sell it digitally. Or can you? 
If you can only sell it digitally, guys, let me know in the comment section down below how that would work. Would it be a case of where I just don't print copies and I can only get it digitally? Hmm. But then you're limiting your sales, aren't you? You'll be dramatically limiting your sales. I suppose it swings and roundabouts. It's one of those things. It's just one of those things. But we have made a chunk of money. We really have just made a chunk of money. And as all this stuff now gets marketed, we put some big, big dents. We've heavily reduced our distribution costs right now. They were in the two millions, and now you're looking at the low one millions. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But we have big bills. One of our biggest bills is internet. You can't really do much about that. Electricity is pretty high, so maybe we need to start thinking about ways we can reduce our electricity bill. Or even producing surplus electricity to sell back to the grid. Ooh, interesting. Now, we've made nearly 700000 in our digital store. We've upped it to 10%, which is pretty sweet. All the marketing is now done. We're actually eating through the development of the Falls OS 2 pretty rapidly compared to before. Now, we have these bigger teams, but this time around, the teams are more educated. So, kind of works out pretty well, doesn't it? It does work out really well. So, another month done. And look at that. We're so close to having a billion dollars in the bank. Our company net worth is over a billion dollars, but that's because we own land. We've almost got a billion dollars in the bank, boys. Well, our digital store right now, I'm squeeze. Look at that. They've undercut me right now with 4%. Get out of here, you fools. 14% I'm going to push it up to. Uh, where does that put me in distribution right now? A million. So I'm making a million. It would be nice whether the digital distribution platform makes more money than my staff wages because that then will just pay the staff wages this is glorious look at the distribution cost down here just getting even smaller and smaller that's down to the fact that we didn't sell any um but you know what i mean you know what i mean boys things are looking pretty good they are looking real good right now i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving it baby <laughs> right guys we're gonna end it for here Hope you did enjoy this episode. We have our very own printing warehouse. Make of that as you will. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.